the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. Let me get these Patreon ones off here. Grab that. You scrolling still? All right, BoxerVoice.com live here with Angel Garcia doing our Patreon-only questions for our most dedicated listeners and uh, viewers. Coming from Jose Perez in California, he says, Axe, are you guys excited to be fighting Porter that comes to Danny and you don't have to wave at him to get to him? You know, like he's going to be there. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm the great fight for Dan. That's the perfect style. It's like real, the same way he's going to come. He has a perfect style for Danny. Now, the thing is, he said he's going to come. And he said, people asking me questions, were well, we ready for that aggressive? Well, when Danny started landing, is he really going to be aggressive like he said he is? Or he's going to box that night? He's going to have his running, his running sneakers on. Uh, how is this fight going to be different from Thurman and Peterson? Well, the, the difference between the, the Thurman and, and Peterson, because the Thurman was politics. A lot of bullshit behind that. People don't know about that's one thing. We lost to the politics. We didn't lose to Thurman. It's so L on record, yeah, we can't sugarcoat that. And then the Peterson, that's a different story. Peterson was just a, a big motherfucker that came in at 168, I think he weighed that night. Peterson just a big motherfucker with steroids. Like, what the fuck? He take that shit for his back, don't he? <laughs> and you say the truth, I sugarcoat this shit. Let's be honest out here now. Uh, since you said that the last time we were here, you said that there were guys that Danny still hasn't fought because they have not signed up to VADA. Uh, and we actually have that question coming from Texas. It's Trav, uh, Tra I always fuck up his name, it's Travity. In the last interview, you mentioned guys failing and falling out of the WBC rankings because they wouldn't enroll in Nevada Clean Boxing Program and how those guys calling out for the fight needed to enroll to fight Danny. There's only one person who fits that description. Who is he? Well, I can't say name because I could get sued for that. Because basically you're saying somebody's on drugs. So it's defamation of character. Someone could sue you for defamation of character. Yeah, because somebody could sue you because you're saying somebody's doing drugs. I don't know what they're doing. All I can say is some people are dropping on the list because they refuse to do the testing. Avada. But I can't say they're on drugs because I, I can't really say that. Even if the person, you know a person's on drugs, you really can't say it in the open. Unless you get medical, you get medical approval. And you have, re, you have it on, on record, medical. Then you can't say that. But the people dropping out the list, like they say, where smoke is fire. What's your favorite cheese spot here in the city of Philadelphia? Well, it depends. Depends how you cheese steak. Yeah, yeah, it depends how you like it. You like Gino's or you like Pat? I like from the regular pizza shop corners. Small little pizza mom and pop, the greatest steaks in the world. You got to eat it like this. Salt, pepper, and ketchup, fried, and a little bit of mayo. And a bag of chips with a Coca-Cola. <laughs> So, uh, since the whole topic, this is actually for Danny, but try and answer it. Since, since they always bring up the topic of you being a racist, right? And that comes up on multiple different YouTube channels. They, they wanted to know, this guy asking a question, Jose Perez, is Puerto Rican, and he's been called all types of things, from nigger to white Mexican to a cracker, all types. He said, did Danny experience any of that growing up in Philadelphia, especially since he's a lighter-skinned Puerto Rican with colored eyes? Yeah, listen, then where we at, this gym is at now. One time there was a whole white, this all white neighborhood. We moved here 25 years ago. We got called Spicks. Danny was called a little Spick. Yeah, we got called a lot of names. We got called Spick, you motherfucking Puerto Ricans, y'all dog hair looking motherfuckers, all that shit. Yes, I lived through all that shit. They used to tell my mind, shh, don't speak Spanish, miss. It's English in the bus stop. Imagine that. Yes. So I lived through all that shit. Yes, I lived through all that shit. Believe me, we lived through all that shit. He in Philly. He in Philly, yes. And there's still a lot of racism in Philly. A lot of it. And just they shook that shit. Everybody's racist, brother. Everybody. Everybody has a little racism in them. Believe that. Because if God wanted everybody to be goddamn Puerto Rican, he would have made us all fucking Puerto Rican. We're brown dicks. But we ain't all Puerto Ricans. We're brown dicks. We got white people with little dicks. You got black guys with big dicks. You got black guys with big asses the fuck you want <laughs> eric cruz in texas angel what got you into boxing and what did you see that changed boxing from being a hobby to danny making a living out of it 
Well, we'll say it again, my fault. Was... What got you into boxing and what changed that made you look at boxing not only as a hobby but more as a business and made Danny make a living from it? Well, the thing was, it, when we first started doing it, we knew it was a sport. But I, I used to just like being in the gym. I used to have fun just being with him. We was a child. So I started seeing the resume behind it. When he won the under-19, I was like, whoa, this really means something. When you start getting a check from the USA champ, from the U.S. Olympic, uh, the Olympic National, the, the, the training center. When I started seeing that, I was like, oh, they get paid for this shit. Then I started looking at the business, more as a business. But yeah, that, at first it was a fun. It was fun to me to go to the gym as a little kid. I meet them, then we used to have so much fun. And it's still fun, don't get me wrong, but now it's a business at the same time. Uh, Andre Diakono says, how is it that DSG and PBC has not done a boxing card at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia where Danny is the headliner? Well, it's going to come. It's going to come. This fight should have been here, but it's okay. Everything has its destiny. Everything has its time. It, it, don't, don't say it won't get done. It will be done you know, in time. That's all. Ryan, a.k.a. Dempsey uh, from California, says, How old were you, Angel, when you first moved to the U.S. from Puerto Rico? I was six years old. I moved from Puerto Rico to uh, Philadelphia. I've been here 49 years. What got you into boxing? Uh, or was there a fighter you liked that made you become a boxing fan? Well, yeah. I, I used to uh, love Alexi Aguayo. I always, loved, I always used to love boxing. I was a kid. I used to run home to listen to the theme. I, I hate to say this name, but I'm going to say it. I used to listen to the HBO. Yeah. Yeah, the HBO Light is flying over Atlanta City. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. So, yeah, I was a fan then. Like, you know, Bernard Hopkin, I've been around him. My brother was a state champion at the time, penitentiary. So I grew up around this shit. Robert Weatherall in the UK says, what does Angel bring to the camp and that other trainers do not? Well, I bring a lot of love, a lot of spirit. You got to have spirit. You ain't got spirit in any camp. You ain't getting no fight to do nothing for you. The thing is, you got to be focused. They got to believe in you. And the most important thing, you got to bring the big man with you. And I bring that. I bring it all of love and a lot of God with us. And without that, it's nothing. That's what I bring. Same person, Robert Weatherwell says, what do you feel about sex before a fight? Is that an old myth or does it really make a difference? Oh, yeah, it does make a difference. Yeah, it does. If your fighter put his dick in it, like the day before the fight, he fucked. Because you don't got no leg. They go out like jello. Yeah, that's not a myth. That's really true. Now, you got to leave at least, at least, at least two weeks to three weeks, at least. At least, that'll be safe. You're in the safe zone. But if you go under two weeks, you're fucking yourself. You're chasing, you, you cheating yourself, brother. Don't, don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Andre Diakonu in uh, New Jersey says, what is your favorite meal? My favorite meal, man, I'm Puerto Rican, brother. Rice and pepper, rice and beans. Rice right. and beans, brother. It got to be rice and beans. Ain't rice and beans, no protein in my deco. <laughs> Ron G. Mauricio Suleiman tweeted out that Adrian Broner missed testing Vada and his whereabouts. What happens to a fighter when they miss it? Have you heard of fighters missing testing and still be okay? Well, missing like came out or left? No, missing like. Oh, like, well, they couldn't find him. They couldn't find him. Okay, well, he can hide, but where are you going to go? Because if, if you do anything, it's going to be in your fucking DNA. When they take that blood, they can track down you and your hair. They can take your fucking hair and find out how, how long your wife been poisoning you. You don't know. <laughs> Ron G, did you see the Curtis Harper fight and watch him leave out the ring before fighting F.A.? Your thoughts on that? Was it a bad move? <laughs> Curtis Harper, he's laughing at his own jokes. He didn't even hear me. The guy that walked out the ring this week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck happened to him. What's your thoughts? Well, I thought it was crazy. I mean, first time everything. That was kind of funny, though. Yeah. I don't know. He got paid for that shit, but... Yeah, it was funny. Well, the other one did, right? Well, yeah, but he don't get paid. He should at least made a swing and faked it and fell to the ground. F.A. got a knockout for it. Yeah, but if he wanted to walk out, he should have waited. He did right. The bell rang. He came out. He should have waited until somebody swung. And then he should have took a dive. Yeah, you, you don't think he'll get another fight? Well, I don't think nobody ever going to call him. Because I don't know what's the point. He proved. He said that he did that to prove a point because he was being underpaid. Okay, but how you made it? You didn't make no <laughs> That ain't going to fucking help. But I think now he's not going to get a call. Nobody ever going to call him. For that, he should have got his lawyer or something. The thing is this, brother. You get a contract. You read the contract. If they don't say butter and bread, then you don't sign it. Why is he protesting after he signed the goddamn contract? You don't make no sense. Who read it for him? Do you know how to read? You know how to walk. No. <laughs> and then the other one fell out the ring. Yeah. They didn't even check him or nothing. The doctor threw him right back in there. <laughs> I'm like, what the? And then he said, the guy, they wrapped them, take, golf, take. But that's an international rule, all over the United States. I mean, a national. 
And nobody was there to check the raps during the what? During... They said that when they take the champion, they take them guards, take guard, and the Puerto Ricans said, yo, what's going on? They said, no, in Nevada, in um, Nevada, uh, Arizona, Arizona is like it's, it's legal here. Or whatever it was, they said it was legal there. That's not legal, that's international in America. That's, a, that's a all over the commission in America. Last one, what, what, what's a tougher business for you? The music industry with your daughters or the boxing industry with your son? Well, the boxing business was, at, at, at one time, do I know the game now, so it's easier. Like, if I was to push fighters, I know the politics of it, so it's easier. But at first, it was hard, like, like the music. Music is hard. Because now, because I don't know the game, and I, don't, I can't make calls like I do in boxing now. So, but we're learning the same way. We learn boxing. All right, so those were all our Patreon questions. I want to ask you, obviously, about Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. The fight's actually official now. Showtime saying it's going to be on pay-per-view. They put out their, uh, you know, their images and paraphernalia for the fight. Um, what's your thoughts on that fight now that it's, you know, it's going to be here in Vegas? Well, I think it's a great fight for both of them. I think, I think it should be a good fight for the fans. It's a mega fight, heavyweight, American heavyweight, European heavyweight, undefeated, undefeated, unified titles. I think it's a great fight for the fans. Well, it's not going to be unified titles. Joshua got the other belts. I mean, Tyson is considered the lineal. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see. The one they took the belts from. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all do talking about the other kid. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about the big guy. Yeah, yeah, the European. Yeah, okay. Well, I think that's a good fight, too. I think it's a good fight for the wall. I mean, the wall. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, uh, you uh, like Trump. No, 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 no. No, it's not even the wall. He's building shit. The wall fucking tools, yo. <laughs> yo, Deontay Wild. Oh, my God. Yeah, every video, he kills his name. The thing is this. The problem with me is, bro, it's not that I'm trying to be rude or not like that. The thing is, the whole thing back in my day, you didn't know nobody's name. Because when shit came down, you didn't want to know nobody's name. So when they killed you, you didn't know nobody's name. But you really didn't know nobody's name. So you know everything about nicknames. Like Lefty, Negro, Prieto, Sulto. You know, you need motherfuckers by nickname. That's how it was. Blind, Cano, huh? What was your nickname in the Philadelphia streets? It was been Angel. No. I, I, AKAs. Okay, AKA what? Jose, Jose Moulier. <laughs> so, did you know that Deontay Wilder went to the UK and to Belfast to watch Tyson Fury fight? Did you see that? Did you hear about it? They threw a pint of beer and then a fighter allegedly through chicken. There's no video, but there's video of Deontay and his team trying to get at him. That's sad, bro. That's sad because he don't deserve that. Now, he didn't go out there to fight the fan. He went out there to scout somebody out to make the fight bigger. And somebody just disrespect him. Somebody do that shit to Danny. I don't know what I do, bro. Like, that's just respect of a motherfucker, bro. Like, somebody throw some shit at you. And it was at night, at dinner time, and, you know, not at a... I seen a little bit on Instagram. I seen the water and shit. And he went charging the guy. Definitely not water. It was beer. Oh, man, that's even worse because that should make you stink all fucking night like a goddamn drunk. Now, has Danny ever suffered some of that? Did he ever have to go to another country in the amateurs or another, uh, you know, enemy territory and have booze and stuff thrown at him? When he went through the World Cup, he went to uh, Azerbaijan, I think it's some prayer in Russia. And they were out there and they would look at the girl and the guys would tell him, no, nope, not here. They would tell him not to look at the girls or nothing. Yeah. Uh huh. It's only in America, bro. They, I mean, we got to stop the bullshit in America, bro, because you know what, man? I'm looking at countries to move to. I'm getting the fuck out of here. What country are you thinking I'm of? I'm thinking of uh, Costa Rica. It's one of the best countries to retire right now. I'm trying to live, bro. I ain't trying to have you every time you turn around, motherfucker, talking about black and blue and red. I ain't listening to that bullshit. How many bitches you fucked? I don't give a fuck where your dick been at. I'm worried about my dick. Where my dick been at? Who the fuck you going to do good in Costa Rica? Well, yeah, because nobody worrying where my dick is going at. Me and my dick homies. We stick together like bread and butter. Y'all gonna get that working in Costa Rica, though. Who gives a fuck? Listen, you know how much money change a little bit from the boxing, get the fans a little bit of hope, right? and give them a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of wisdom? Who get? you know how much money they spent on, on investigating Donald Trump? The oh, federal, what? Donald Trump investigating him, where he stuck his dick at? You know how millions of dollars that your taxpayer's money might take? Who gives a fuck where he put his dick at? I don't give a oh, fuck. Scandal with Trump? Yeah, they say he stuck his dick somewhere. But who cares? That's his dick. Are you mad? That's his 500, $500 million dollar dick. Who gives a fuck? That's his fucking dick. Ain't my dick. Oh, man. Angel, thank you so much. Million. What the fuck? <laughs> thank you so much, brother.
They got locked. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through th its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.